Hello and welcome to episode 6 of the how to create an RPG game in Go.4 and today we're going to be creating this smooth, nice, moving, working camera, right? So if you need help with, you know, camera movement in Godot, then this video is going to be perfect for you. But before we get started, I just want to ask if you could go down below and hit that subscribe button and drop a like on this video to help you to push this series to more inspiring game developers so they can learn to make their own Godot games as well. But let's get started with episode six and create smooth camera movement in Godot. Okay, so our camera movement that we have so far is non-existent, right? So we obviously have a player that can run around, but the camera does not move and we have more map over here that we cannot see because we do not have a working camera but we have a cam we need a camera first of all and then second of all or let me show you what i'm talking about so the camera will go off and we do not want to see gray we want the camera to stop here when we get to the bottom we want the camera to stop here we stop here stop here right so we only see the map so let me show you what i'm talking about so if we go to our player and we add a camera 2d and we go to inspector and we set this to the current or we just set it to enabled which i guess is what it started starts at see now we have a camera right uh oh you know complete right we have a camera but no that's not good this camera is horrible and it does not work at all right so this camera is not good it's the basic camera but this is how you add a camera to the game now we can see the whole map at least but we need some different things right so some things to make the camera look better if we go to our you know our limits we need to set this limit so we can't go off if we go to drag we can turn on vertical and horizontal drag and we can just have a very little drag you know we'll just leave it at point two and if we play that you can kind of see like the player we have a little bit of a free zone before the camera starts to follow the player so it just makes it look a little bit more you know a little bit more fancy right that's that's we'll say that so we also have a, a lot of people ask about this, the smoothing feature, which is, a, yeah, that, that's the smoothing feature up there. So a lot of people ask why we don't use this smoothing feature or no, it's rotation smoothing. So rotation smoothing and then this smooth, uh, the limit, the limit smoothing we will use, but no. So I, I don't know exactly where the smoothing is. Maybe it's not in Godot 4. Okay, so the smoothing may not be in Godot 4. I guess I guess it would no. Okay, so I guess it would be uh, yeah. Okay, it would be position smoothing. So yeah, position smoothing. The reason we don't use position smoothing, let's say five pixels a second, if we play it, will make like, as you can see, it makes it like really laggy. Like, you can see it looks like super glitchy when our player runs, right? Which is not, which is not good. But that, that's because we have pixel art and the art is so small. So we do not use position smoothing on, you know, on pixel art. If you have like a 2D art or like, yeah, more of like a 2D, more zoomed out, like bigger art, then it, it kind of works. But for pixel art, it does not work at all. So that's why I'm not going to use that. And then we need like limits, right? So first of all, we need limits. So if we go to our world, how are we going to get our player and its camera to, you know get the correct limits the how we're gonna do this is we're gonna get our camera 2d we'll just add a camera 2d to the world and then we'll get our transform down here and we'll just get the position right so we'll say we want our camera to stop right here right this is the, the top we want our camera to go so we'll get our y position this is gonna actually be y zero so we can remember that but let's get the bottom y position so if we go down here to the bottom right if we go down here to the bottom like we'll say we want our camera to stop here we can copy this y number which is going to be 190 this is the position of this exact area on our map is position 191 y so if we go to our player and we go to our player 2d and we say the bottom is 191 that's the bottom we want to go and the top is zero right so this is the the top our camera can go as you can see now this little line right here our camera it stops up here you know we can we can't move up and down really we just we're stuck right we're stuck so also as you can see like it's it's huge like our camera is massive and to fix that that's because in a earlier episode we went to our project settings general and we went down here i don't remember exactly where it's at i think it it's in window 
Well, I know it's in window. It's in window and then it's down here on scale. We're gonna actually just reset that. So now we have a scale of zero. So now if we were to play the game, you kind of see it's like huge. But the way we'll fix this is we'll go to our player and we'll go to our camera 2D and we can actually zoom it in right here. So we'll set the zoom to like four, right? So now, as you can see, we have a much smaller camera and it can kind of still move around in the way that you need the camera to move around, right? So that's good. Now we go to our world and we need to get the left side over here, which should actually be zero. Yeah, so that's gonna be zero as well. So left is going to be zero. And then if we go over here to the right side, that is going to be 415. Right, so if we go to our camera 2D and we go to the left is going to be zero, zero X, and then the right is going to be 415. Now you can see that our camera moves only in this area, right? We can go nowhere else but this area. So we'll make this our, make sure this is our current camera. And then we'll go to our world. We can actually delete this camera now. And then if we were to play the game, as you can see, the camera it moves but it stops when we get to the edge where we set the limits right so our camera does not move much anymore but it moves a little bit and it looks a lot better right as you can tell this looks a lot better as a like as a camera right so we can also make some different things to make this look a little bit better so if we go to our player and we go to our camera we can go down here and we can add on sm uh, smooth for our limiting and then we can also rotation smoothing which you need this for this to work so now if we play you can kind of see you, it's you're not going to really be able to tell too much but it kind of like it kind of follows up behind the player just a tiny bit and that looks i think this looks a lot better as a camera movement in goda so that that's kind of how you make basic camera movement that's how you limit it to this area and when you switch scenes, so let's say we switch scenes, which we're actually going to be making in the next episode. So that's why I needed to create camera in this episode so we can add changing scenes next episode. But in next episode, when we make a new scene and we have to switch scenes and we have to change scenes, we're going to have to actually switch over to a new camera. So we'll switch over to a new camera and that camera will be limited to that scene as well. So we'll have like perfect camera movement. So next episode kind of goes along with this episode in, in a little bit. So if you have like multiple scenes in your game and you need multiple cameras for your game, next episode is going to be really important just for that exact reason. So that's going to be an episode. I think that's going to be episode seven. Yeah, this is episode six. So that will be an episode seven scene changing. And it's going to be, you know, smooth scene changing. And it's going to work very well. But I know this was a pretty short episode. I just wanted to make sure you knew how to do you know, do the basics of camera movement and it's going to basically be a follow up or next episode is going to kind of be a follow up to this episode a little bit. But we're also going to go over scene changing and then we're also going to add another camera and we'll switch back and forth between the cameras as we switch scenes. So thank you guys also so, so much for watching this video. I hope it helped you create camera movement in your game. And if you need any help with Godot, any or any help in your Godot game, then let me know and I would love to help you out in the comments down below. But until next time, hit that subscribe button, drop a like so more inspiring game developers can learn to make their own Godot games as well. Stay safe and have a wonderful rest of your day.